Robert Earl Davis, Jr., better known by his stage name DJ Screw, was an American hip-hop DJ who was based in Houston, Texas. He was known as a central figure in the Houston hip-hop community and was the creator of the now-famous chopped and screwed DJ technique. This creation led to his nickname of the originator. Davies was recognized for his various mixed apps and albums mostly on a regional level, until after his death. His legacy was discovered by a wider audience when Houston hip-hop began reaching a national audience in 2005. Early life, DJ Screw was born in Smithville, Texas. His father, Robert Earl Davies Sr., was a long-haul truck driver based in Houston. His mother Ida May Davis, came to the area to be with her mother when her son was born in 1971. She returned to Houston, but the marriage was floundering. Soon it would be over, and she and her kids moved to Los Angeles for a couple of years, then back to Houston, and returned to Smithville in 1980 when Davis was age nine. Career A young DJ Screw had aspirations of being a truck driver like his father, but seeing the 1984 hit breakdancing movie break in and discovering his mother's turntable permanently derailed those dreams. His admiration of classical music drove him to continue the piano lessons that he had long forsaken. After seven years of hard studies, he was able to play works of art like Etude in C Major by Chopin flawlessly by ear. But the call of the turntable was more powerful than the ringing of the keys and so he fell back into the life of Jing. He would take his mother's BB King and Johnny Taylor records and scratch them on the turntable the way DJs did, slowing the spinning disc and then allowing it to speed back up, playing with sound. Davies began buying records of his own and would spin with his friend Trey Atkins, who would rhyme. Screw had a jam box, Atkins told Texas Monthly, and he hooked up two turntables to it and made a fader out of the radio tuner so he could DJ. Atkins said if Robert L. didn't like a record, he would deface it with a screw. One day Adkins asked him, Who do you think you are, DJ Screw? Robert Earl liked the sound of that and, in turn, gave his longtime friend a new name, Shorty Mac. Davies began Jing at age 12 in 1983, and started his trademark slowdown mixes in 1990. The mixes began as special compilations requested by friends and those in the know. He soon made them available for sale when his close friend Toe offered to buy a mix from him for $10. At that point, customers had increasingly begun requesting his more well-known mixes instead of personalized lists. During the early 1990s, he invited some of the Houston MCs from the city's south side to rhyme on those mixes. This coalition of MCs eventually became the formation of the screwed-up click. Davis later moved to a house in the 7600 block of Greenstone Street near Gulfgate Mall. Fans, some driving from faraway areas such as Dallas and Waco, lined up at his door to obtain his recordings. He started his own business and opened a shop up on 7717 Cullen Boulevard in Houston, Texas, called Screwed Up Records and Tapes. It has been shown in numerous music videos and documentaries as well as independent films. There are now several screwed up records and tapes spread out through Texas, including one in Beaumont and in Austin. Texas Governor Rick Perry honored him by making him an official Texas music pioneer. Death On November 16, 2000, Davies was found dead inside of his Houston recording studio in the 8100 block of Commerce Park Drive. Fans speculated about the true cause of his death. When the coroner reports were released, they confirmed that he died of a codeine overdose in addition to mixed drug intoxication. The codeine came from a prescription strength cough syrup that he would mix with soda to concoct a beverage called Purple Drank. In addition to codeine, Valium and PCP were found in his blood. His funeral took place at Mount Pilgrim Baptist Church in his hometown of Smithville, Texas. Legacy DJ Screw has been a considerable influence in the Houston scene which is sometimes referred to as Screwston in his memory. His distinct musical stylings influenced countless rap acts. Alternative Weekly The Houston Press named the 1995 album Three in the Morning as number 13 on its list of the 25 best Houston rap albums of all time. The newspaper credited the release for the way it helped shape Houston's hip-hop culture.
The newspaper also referred to chopped and screwed music as the second most likely type of music to be associated with Texas, an example of DJ Screw's influence in the region. A music festival and car show in honor of DJ Screw was set up in 2006. The inaugural DJ Screw Fest featured 200 vehicles and a setlist featuring notable Houston hip-hop acts like Trey and Chingo Bling. The first festival, which took place at the Pasadena County Fairgrounds, ran into problems including rain and limited sound equipment. When the Houston hip-hop scene became nationally prominent in 2004, many of the biggest acts could be traced to DJ Screw's crew, the Screwed Up Click. The expansive crew included such members as Pimp C, Bun B, Zed Roo, Lil Keck, Try The Truth, Fat Pat, Hawk, Big Mo, Shorty Mac, ACT, Grace, LOS, Wood, Big Jut, Big Tune, Big Horace, Key C, Youngstar, White Mike, Country, Bird, Knock Knock, Duke, Big Steve, KK, Big Pokey, Haircut Joe, Angeli, Shero, Al D, C Note. Big Dez, Orlean, Pap Pap, Head, Lil Third, Poppy, Brock, Pop, Kiwi, Lil Randy, Rono, Ron G, Man Poo, Quarry Blunt, Company, Lil D, Big D, Big Bub, Chuck, ESG, Stick One, Skinny Sean, Slick Rick, 380. D, Crime Boss, Mr. 3 2, Big Mellow, Lilo, and many others. While many of the SUC rappers enjoyed major label success, DJ Screw himself remained largely underground. He was uncomfortable with mainstream business practices like bank accounts and copyrights. He would allow members of the SUC to rap on his mixed apps free of charge, despite the large amount of exposure a screw tape feature could provide. A single tape could have reached 100,000 listeners according to some estimates. They often led to further success, including recording contracts. The 2007 documentary film Screwed in Houston, produced by VBS Vice magazine, details the history of the Houston hip-hop scene and the influence of the chopped and screwed subculture on Houston hip-hop. The five-part series devotes one full episode to DJ Screw and includes video footage of him days before his death. Discography equals Albums equals Equals official screw tape mixed up series equals the screw tapes were mixed ups that DJ Screw made himself and mainly sold from his house or when traveling to do shows. Many of his friends freestyled and spoke over the instrumentals and songs. The mixed ups were re released after his death in 2000 and given Diary of the Originator chapter titles. Despite this, they were not re released chronologically. The works date between 1993 and 2000. New chapters continue to be released. Equals appearances equals. References. External links. MTV DJ Screw Album Discography. Screwed Up Records and Tapes. Official site. Deft Magazine Commemorative Rest and Peace Mixed Up. Deft Magazine.